Hey guys, what's up? This is Buffboy and welcome to Project Cars, specifically the new Mercedes-Benz AMG GT3. And look at this monster. <laughs> this um, is a free car that was released uh, on Steam very recently. It just gets updated automatically if you already have the game. You do not have to pay any money for it, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, what more can you say about it other than it's got 500 horsepower, 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers in 3.09 seconds, 100 kilometers to zero in 1.82 seconds, just over a ton at 1.3 tons. And uh, yeah, look at it, it looks really, really cool. So I thought today what we'd do is um, I'd take it out for a few laps, and the decision I've made on the track is. Monza because this weekend it is the Blanc Pan Endurance Series at Monza the first round of this year's championship where the AMG GT will be um, So I thought what a great place to do it So while that loads uh, I can explain that I've got the Logitech G27 and Fanatec Club Sport pedals set up and ready to go um, I've got everything uh, turned off all the aids turned off um, except for traction control where there is an ever so slight bit there to make it more realistic in terms of GT3 cars do have traction control. So we're going to roll out, have a little look around the car and then we're going to do uh, some warm up laps followed by a flyer hopefully. Right let's have a look at this baby. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. How good does that look? See, it took me a very long time to like the old uh, Mercedes SLS uh, GT3 car. Um, but I have to say, I like this already. That is so cool. Look at that heat wave coming off the engine. Sounds good as well. Sometimes they get the sounds wrong on project cars, especially with like, the V8 supercar. But this one sounds good. So, let's have a look inside. Where I'll be spending most of my time. Yeah, so the Formula One style steering wheel, which is becoming more and more common uh, in GT cars. Uh, what have we got? So we've got things like speed, fuel levels, gear, lap position, fuel usage. That's really good. Uh, ah, so we've got lap time and split time, tire temperatures, brake temperatures, and that's it. Right. Let's do a warm-up lap and then we'll go straight into a flyer and see what lap time we can do. I'm sure you guys will thrash my time, but I'd love to know what lap times you can do down below in the comments. So let me know. I'm going to head off now and warm everything up. Okay, so I've done one warm-up lap and now we're going into a flyer. Let's see what we can do. Okay, and I crossed the line in... Oh, what was it? 47.3. Average. Average, for sure. 
But let me know what lap times you can do in this car around this track. Um, in this heat, bloody hell, it's 37 degrees. But anyway, let's leave this on while I have a little chat about it. But first impressions, overall verdict is this is a very, very good car. Um, I really like the GT3 category as a whole on project cars. I think they're probably the best developed of all of them. Very scruffy for a chicane. Went in a bit hot. Got a bit excited. Um, but out of the box, this is a default setup. And all I did was reduce the fuel load and skim off the wings. So I had the front on zero and the rear downforce on two out of ten. So I had it really low and skinny as you would at Monza. But other than that, I did not change a thing on the setup. And um, all it had is a little bit of understeer, especially power on understeer. Um, which is... <sighs> Kind of how all cars are set up, it makes them kind of safer, but you can definitely dial that out pretty easily and make it a very, very nice car. Um, but overall, I really, really like it, and I think it's amazing that Project Cars and Slightly Mad Studios are still putting this much time and effort into this title, especially because um, Project Cars 2 has been announced, so it's really good that they're you know still putting this much effort into it um because this just adds and adds like you can have a full field of gt3 cars now um whether it's online or um offline or online you can make it look like your own blanc pan gt series endurance series that's happening this weekend at monza um which is mega um but I strongly, strongly recommend that if you haven't already got this title, I really think you should get it if you're into cars. It's, it's so good. And as I said, you can drive the cars straight out of the box. You don't have to do setup work. Um, so, yeah, 9 out of 10, I would say. 9 out of 10. You never want to give me 10 out of 10. But overall, it was amazing. And I think that um, uh, next video is going to be the Corvette C7R, the Le Mans GT car. Um, which I'm going to be doing very soon. That'll be one of my two videos next week. Remember, every Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. UK time, I'll be uploading videos, and hopefully by the end of today, I'm going to have fiber optic broadband, so I'll have the upload speed to do live streams on Sundays as well. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Please like this video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe for more Project Cars content. But for now, that is going to be it, so goodbye from me. Bye-bye.